Today's the day. Empty back. Here in southern Wisconsin and these are all ready to go. And these are uh, stuff that's not for sale. So they can have that. I'm not sure I'm going to take that. I probably don't have room. We have one bookshelf, two bookshelves, three and four of these and then all of this. This is all minifig parts. Some of it. It's not for sale. Some of it. So we are out the door into the van. 43 drawers loaded. This is, I think they're going to be all right. We're going to try to shove some lids back there to make it tight. We got to stack them up here. Gone. Gone. <laughs> it's in the van. Awesome. Back north through Milwaukee. bunch of stuff in the back. We're being delayed in traffic. We see got some people working, we get to watch them work. We're supposed to be home um, at 2.15 when we left. Now it says 2.57 we'll be home. Culprit of like an extra hour and 20 minutes of our drive time. Don't know what's going on here, but there's some tow trucks. This took forever. Oh, is this truck here is getting picked up. Did it just break down or something? Oh, it's smashed on the front. Holy cow. That thing is, oh, that thing is tore up. Wow. And it's all getting loaded into the basement. The whole family helped out and we are getting it all. <laughs> it's all down here. There's so much stuff. It's crazy. What I'm doing real quick is this just fell apart. I don't know where to put it. I thought of putting it there, but I have room in my new expansion. So I am going to quickly, all I did is uh, control F and put in the, the drawer number, CA001. And I don't know what this envelope is, but I'm gonna go in here and put it in 9941. So there's, let me just count the lots. He leaves the bags open apparently. And these ones, two, that, that's, that's kinda useful. Three, it could come out though. Four, Five, six, and seven different lots in 9941. So, our first upload is happening within half an hour of coming home. So, I'm going to click here 9941. And there is six lots one, two, three, four, five, six. Those plates are not in there, so I'm taking those out. So, if I count them. I'm not going to be doing this on most of this stuff called this way, but um, so don't know where these were from, but they were not in that drawer. I'm gonna maybe I'll start a bin of just random things that if I find it along the way. And we are doing we're not consolidating this stuff. None of the stuff to my store. Actually, I am. Um, Lowering prices too. Started at 10% plus in the sale prices. Actually, I need to I need to actually re uh, do it. Actually, um, get the prices. It says it's 239, 254. Okay, negative 10%, which is going to drop it down to 228. I don't know. There's cost in there. That's something I have to remove. I don't know. 
where the, oh there it is, the cost field. So I guess I have to remove that from all the whole thing. So remove, cost, and upload it. My part uploads. Um, it's 5.20 p.m. I left the house at 6, 6.45. We're doing a 46,000 part upload, which is all of the BAs. These are bulk, means bulk amount. And they go to there. And then the SB shoe boxes start here. <laughs> I don't, did I even show this yet? It's crazy. We got them all up here. I have a lot of stuff that has no room to go anywhere now. Uh, but that's that's a good problem to have when you are dealing with this. When uh, uploading 46,000 pieces within a few minutes. Upload. You upload over half the pieces in this whole purchase with the other uploads I already did. 15,000. It's uploaded. So this is the only thing pretty much it's not uploader that stuff in there I'm gonna do this tomorrow as I hang them up right here so there it's nicer they're, they're the way you did the, the numbering system you did a a for the first row a B for the second row AC and so on so he wrote on here all the lettering so there's a B and C I talked about this before those little ones do not she's stopping for me they're not compatible with this system so to figure out how to do that there will be some numbers that are skipped so we'll see 800,000 pieces uh, just amazing this I'm gonna be busy pulling orders the next month I sure do hope so awesome become a fan of, the ch of this channel and of the birthday store starting off slow here on Friday I have eBay rebuilds here and then um, these are all photographed ready to go. I should do those. Uh, I'm going to try and take care of the stickers. Yeah. I have that I can upload and those two need to be taken care of there. And then I'm going to hang up the cabinets and then I'll do that after I'm done hanging the cabinets and get everything uploaded. So this is basically to do this, this, and then upload those cabinets over there and this door is all for sale. Consolidating in this store is the stickers because no reason to have two separate stickers this it's pretty easy I don't know how many there are there's uh, 37 different sticker sheets so um, like I have one two three four I see five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen no oh, thirteen or fourteen I have already in my store so save those spots stickers integrate into the store I this is the book that came with the store so I put 1 through 25 in here and then 26 through 40 I have numbered here 41 so I'm going to use two books I got my Duplo I'm going to move those out of those Duplo bins and just set the books flat in there and these and there's seven there's seven one two three four five, seven sets of stickers that are a couple are just singles but they're not in the file so um, I'll be adding those I know these sold out that I had before so they just weren't in the file. I've noticed a couple of things already not in the file, so that's that's good and bad. I mean, it's good because I got more value for what I paid, because it wasn't included in the total that we were negotiating on. So, um, yeah, that's, that's how it goes. Awesome. Sticker sheets, so $40. If they were in the file, I would have paid, you know, 25 cents on the dollar, so it is, it's, it's, it's something. So two fifty, yeah, it's like ten dollars, ten extra bucks that was in there. Very nice. The point of uh, I do some other things here. So I'm uploading uh, the A and the B columns, which uh, the B ends here. And this is this is a little different. I was just checking this. Like, why does it go to forty to one thirty six on this big drawer, and then it goes down to one and then one thirty seven, thirty eight, one thirty nine, one forty, one forty one. So and 144. So he, he numbered these nine big drawers different than the rest. So I just have to remember that. It's like in the one, 136 to 144 in each A column or whatever, B column. Same in every column. will be the bigger drawers, so it's fine. Um, but I'm uploading to the B, and then the C runs into an issue because the way he had it in his house was there was a vent down at the bottom of this row. He only had three in a row. I have four. And I want to maximize my space, so I made it to four. Barely. <laughs> I had to wedge it under this drain pipe. <laughs> There's a drain pipe and it barely moved it. It's fine, I think. We'll see if stuff starts, stop, stuff starts not draining right, but it moved up maybe a quarter inch. 
which could be bad. I don't know. It's just a plastic pipe PVC. Anyway, so there was no small cabinets for the A or B rows, but the C column has a small cabinet, which I have over here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move all these pieces into these open spots for now. Um, I might have more around the store, but those are the ones that are just easily accessible, 17. So there's, um, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14. Yeah, there's 17 of these that have parts in them. So I said some at the end don't have as many, but I'm not thinking that's the case. I mean, there's empty drawers in them, but so we may end up using up. Those are 60 each. Um, so, you know, these are, there's a lot of empties here, but um, so we have half of that. So 30 and 60 is 90 plus 120. We have 210, and these are 15 times 17. I'm doing math. Whew. See how much we can get out of it. I got a number of things too. Um, 15 times 17 cabinets, 255. So we'll be just like 60 short of those, roughly, right there. So I'll have to find 60 other big drawers around. Um, and then they all have like these um, these drawers too that I gotta find big drawers for. So. Um, I might, yeah, we'll figure it out. I do not have very many big drawers right now, so <laughs> it's going to be a little process today um, when I run into those, but it's, it's all right. We want to, we want to make it, uh, put it, you put the work in up front, so you don't got to do it later. So just get everything where it needs to go first. Uh, I can always bag those parts up and put them in um, my cabinets or shoe boxes. I actually have, yeah, those drawers I can number up. I'm, I've decided these are going to be for used, and so I've started putting some used stuff in them because my used stuff starts there, so it makes more sense not to start it over here. And I don't really necessarily need a lot. I don't really do too much used uh, at this point, but I can always figure that out later if I need more room later. Um, so this will go, the 9954 will end up go 9955 there, and then so on for these extra ones. So we have uh, lots of room in here to do this the day 17,000 parts in in rows A and B so $2,300 as that's 10% off what they actually were the value was a six months average so I'm doing everything 10% off to start this store because I again I don't necessarily say I'll remove this section but I'd like to sell it out eventually <laughs> not have to come over here but it is what it is. When you have such a big store, you just have to have a big area of pulling parts all the way from that top corner. It'll be it'll go all the way over to here. I'm going to do a store tour to kind of show how the flow goes after this is all done. I'm going to do it earlier this year. I say that. I'm already preparing it in September. And uh, usually I do it in November or early December. So we'll probably have it out in October, a month early, something like that. These small ones done out of 17, so 15 more to go. Well, it's not too bad at all. Uh, with these big drawers, I was I was trying to in, I just integrate it or consolidate with my other parts I have in the store. If I have them, I have been doing that just so I don't use up all my big drawers I have open. So I do not have very many. I only see two in there. There's one, two, three, four, four or five there. It's just if I start using them all up. Um, I might as well consolidate them because some of them already have in big drawers. They have room, so so the D the D line is going up. So Eleven hundred dollars, eleven thousand parts. Situations. This this drawer number wasn't here, and then I checked the part number. It's not here. So this like this wasn't in the file so far. So things not in the file are adding up, which is again it's good and bad. I mean I, I can't complain. Uh, these are basically free parts with the with the order with the, with the store, so. now I'm gonna f now before I do that because I already uploaded a ton of parts I'm gonna check to see if that one one two one one is in any of the shoe boxes so uh, in my store so I have 22 total I'll go to black anyway makes it easier if you go to the color down here I have three black entries I wanted to consolidate while I'm here, I probably could. So there is 
uh, there is one that I added with that. So, wow, thirty-seven ninety-two. Where is that? Thirty-seven ninety-two. That is over here. Why is there such a high number? Oh, it's up here. So we have some in here. <laughs> uh, this. So I'm guessing that these. I mean, it wasn't, it was never, um, the file did not show it had two remark codes. What number was that? So I guess I can do a quick, uh, so SB66, I guess I can do a quick with my scale and just get a good estimate of, um, Whether these are in the file or not, so that's it's all this bag. Whether these these parts that I thought were extra should be in this bag, and find out. We are on the last one. In that back corner, it's right there. Last one. And uh, yeah, last one. And then I have seven more of these to do. So. Got four lined up here in the order, and then as I get done with the, the letter, I uh, upload that section. So we're upload all the way through M right now, all the way through L M ends. M ends right here. So these are all uploaded. So we have that one, and then these three more rows to upload. Upload. There's no more parts left. It is 2:37 uh, p.m. on Friday. We got home at like four o'clock yesterday with the stuff, so less than 24 hours of bringing it home. It's all for sale. It's all put away. A couple drawers here. Um, yeah, and I guess I could show this. I didn't show this for a while because I've been working on this, but the light turns on for me. This is the, uh, the shoebox world that we now live in. It's crazy, and I still don't know what to do with all that stuff. Some of this stuff, but. We'll figure it out. Um, parts that were not in these small drawers, they're there. My son's been working on city minifigs while I'm doing all this. Um, now we have 21,177 lots. And I'm trying to see the exact number of parts. What is it going to be? 969,210. So just over 30,000 away from a million there. It's crazy. Oh, order is ready to ship. My son ordered the Republic gunship from Kohl's, so it's the best deal. We got thirty dollars back, cash, Kohl's cash and stuff. So, oh yeah, wow, there it is, nine hundred and sixty-nine thousand parts for sale. <laughs> incredible, incredible. Uh, bricks sink going. This is gonna take a while. It was still saying I, because when your store is closed, it doesn't try to sink it, so it wasn't even active. So. Brick Owl was closed the whole time too. Um, you now it's fetching the Brick Owl information. <laughs> and it's gonna say we have like 3,000 some lots to update, which usually when you do a set, well, depends on how many lots a set is, but two to 500 need updates. So. <laughs> uh, Brick Owl is still sitting at 574,000. So 3,470 lots are pending for update. My job is done. Do one more thing today, just to show you what's left of this Brickling store buy. This is not this one. This bin under there's all plastic bags, empty plastic bags. This one is like parts and bags that are counted. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, same with this, but I don't think they're counted. He said he was saying that they're like sets. Look at that. Like not all of these ones are counted. All those have count numbers in them. Um, that's a cool piece, though. So. so that's. That was part of the purchase was thrown in along with all these. I didn't know those poly bags were not for sale. There's mini fake parts. Mother, and there's some dupla figures, some bionicle stuff, because none of this was for sale in the file. More mini figure stuff. There's clone helmets in there. Um, more Star Wars helmets. Cool old Stormtrooper, that's nice. More. This 
and still tape looks like. Oh, more mini over here stuff. And then two more minifigure bins. So great to have that thrown in uh, as a bonus. I, I did move some stuff over here real quick as much as I could. No, I still could do more, but I got my minifigures up there. And I still have these ones that I just have no room for them. Um, I already shoved sets and stuff in there. I can move this. This is probably my next thing. I don't. There's nothing in any of these cases. They're literally here just when I need them, and I don't really use them so much. I maybe use four at a time at the most lately, because uh, I'm usually caught up in everything. So I got it there as like a sort stuff, put it away, keep them like sorted till they fill up. But I never got to that point. I got caught up on my my backlog, so there's no point for it. I could probably put that actual. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I love talking through things on this camera. I'm gonna take that, I can rearrange the shelves to fit better and put it here um, and figure out what, can I, what I can put on there though. But I'm not, I'm gonna take those cases and maybe put them under the stairs for now, only keep a couple of them out and know where they're at if I need them, so. But we got my, our first order. So I did notice that there's nothing that's gonna come out of this yet, uh, but there's like seven parts coming out of the new shoebox area, so. I'm going to go ahead and pull it to close out the day. It's 50 lots, 194 items. Pretty low quantity on most things. If you see 50 lots, that's like four, four items per lot on, on average. So we will go ahead and do that. i got to get my, uh, get my mouse out of here for one. I was using that stuff on there to move all those parts out of those little cabinets. Which now, uh, I guess I didn't show that. I have these. 17. Actually, I have three other ones that it reminds. I have 20 of these little cabinets. Don't know what to do with right now. They are going to take up space. Somebody did ask for some, but I think they wanted the bigger ones, which I don't have any of those. I didn't know exactly how his store was set up, but I do not have any of those bigger ones. It says there's supposed to be 18 here. Why is it already not looking right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Oh, you know what that means? This eight here is I have another separate lot because I did not consolidate pretty much any of these parts. Some of the little ones I did are the little cabinets. So there's another lot of these. I have eight that in the new in the new uh, in the new store. So that cleared out that lot. Now I only have one lot now. So it'll it'll eventually self-correct itself instead of having to go through and there was almost four thousand lots in that store and. Around a hundred. I don't even think it was a hundred of them were going to be new lots to my store. So there's better about three thousand lots I'd have to consolidate. I could have consolidated them and just had both remark codes on the listing here. It said both remark codes, but they and that the quantities would be there. I could have done that. Thought about doing that, but I hate how that just it just confuses me and it's not how I want to do it. Eventually, those lots will sell out. I marked them lower price for for all of them. So. Um, when I put up that stud wall there, I thought it'd be temporary, but we'll see how, how life goes. Got another laser tag base in there. So I don't know if I showed you. I didn't. So we got six rows here. It doesn't. There's an opening here because it started there. It was an uneven amount. There were seven complete rows. Or 13, I mean. And we got the seven here so and I left it open there just so I wasn't like up against the wall and the TV and other stuff and I can always build something here something's gonna go there eventually I just don't know what I thought that was the best use of the space at the time because I I couldn't definitely go up this far I didn't want to go up too far it's 44 inches uh, gap there so that's a good good wide opening that I like um, so yeah watching my video just started for some reason now it's over. I figure this out. I can't get it from behind this bar. Oh, so I'm just push it back. Go to these. One, two, three, four. Oh, that whole bag. We 
left all the tape on these. We just didn't take the time to take them off. When I go into them, I'll take them off for the first time. So, got these. I need uh, an SB32, 132. There should be 153 black 1x3 bricks. These are dark bluish gray. So they're not in here, unfortunately. So they're here somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, maybe they got mixed up. Uh, so I'm just going to check the files and see if I can figure it out. I'm going to look at where those uh, where those dark blue should be. And that sh hopefully will solve it. I have these in the system. So these must have just been entered wrong by the other store as black, but they're dark bluish gray. So I'm just going to delete my black listing here and then just add these manually. Um, I'll, I'll count them up so that can, that can happen. I know there's going to be mistakes and then refunds are going to be, need to be made, but in the end, well, it'll, be, it'll work itself out. We'll be all right. All the people that have email notification for new lots on their wanted list, 3,309 users were emailed with this new story uploaded. It's definitely the most I've ever seen. I've never seen it go over 2,000. <laughs> to be honest, I do it every day. At the end of the day, usually, so that's a lot. Today with this new store open. Opened it like at 3 o'clock yesterday and it's now 5 a.m. So just over 12 hours of being open. Five brick link orders, three brick out, eight orders, 770 items, 222 lots, $181. People are busy on this Labor Day weekend here in the States, so that's my that's my guess. Um, but you already, we already packed up that 50 lot order. The 9, 15, 8. 24, 13, 1, and 2. I did have another international order. Oh my god, my 5.30 alarm's going off. Um, I don't need that. I need this. So they asked a question. This figure was sold with the same color hands as the torso. I said, can you, can you check to make sure that's correct? And it wasn't. <laughs> it's in the new store. So another thing. That's all right. Um, it was invoiced, so I did they have to pay and pay yet? So I canceled the orders. It's sorry. It is not the right one you want. So we'll relist them correctly. Um, yeah, so it's five thirty. And what else we got going on? My son built one hundred and eighty some city minifigs yesterday. Like a th I think it's about four hours on it actually. Three and a half, I think it was what I, what I paid him for it. So almost four. Um, they got photograph stuff here. Bricklink order, bricklink order, bricklink order, bricklink order. So parts to fire station. So yeah, there we go. Got work to do. A nice message. We love. We like the videos. Awesome. Here's some footage. Everyone gives me footage by uh, adding notes like that. If you like, ooh, this is cool. This is what I found on that lot with the, that had the uh, Daily Bugle parts in it. So, about that thing. 24 is two of these ones. Awesome. Cool. Thank you for the order. This looks like. 15 lots. We're going to get some parts from the new uh, wall over there, too. I can tell. So, well, maybe we'll, we'll start it back up when we get to that. 8015 is 8 white boxes, I guess. There's an 8015. There we go. So there should be. Emily NBC Newark, New Jersey. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. We have not. I was able to find yesterday that two uh, new bricks that were in the wrong color on this. A F fifty two. There is E A F fifty two. Four of those. AG1s, all those. 
F G one. We'll count those up in a moment. Thirteen of them. A K eighty three. Uh, it's on the other side, isn't it? J K eighty three. We're finding them. So. Yeah, we got, I'm sure there's, it says there's 13 extra, which I could have another lot somewhere, but we'll count them up. Awesome order. I'm supposed to have uh, these tiles, two and one. I only had one and one, so that, uh, that was all wrong in the, in the new store. There's only one. Well, three fun for that, but yeah, it's, it's going to happen. Uh, more than I expected. The first few orders that I pulled, like every both orders have had issues that had parts in them so far. So that's not looking good, but it's going to be fine. I think I'm going to have to spend time and audit some things in, in, in the end. Um, I do I do plan on those shoe boxes back there, kind of consolidating some of those and moving them into regular drawers. So the audit some doing that, but because I need some of that space back back there. I was uh, rebuilding eBay the other day, and he's like, oh, this is misprinted. Certainly is. This is a Series 8 DJ. I'm listening on eBay. It's missing the like, two colors in the middle of the orange and something else. I was like, oh, I should go grab one. I'm going to probably want to show it on here. I think I, I think I have another one. Yeah. So... Missing, yeah, the dark green color and the orange. That's the real one. It's like an app, it's like a Lego head total, and that's that's pretty sweet. I love that. That's a, like a one of a kind. I mean, I'm sure there's more out there somewhere, but where are you gonna find it? Looks, this is a search for a misprint torso on Maybay store, and it might be there. We got all those uh, photographed items listed. Superhero I need to, there's just way too many in this superhero bin. I have I have Lego Movie, Toy Story, Pharaoh's Quest, there's Ninja Turtles back here, and then Minecraft as well, so could use a little revamp, maybe just Ninja Turtles out of there and give a little more breathing room. Uh, but we got up to 2,430 Lego listings after today, so it's pretty good. I've been always trying to get to 2,500 now, that's definitely my next goal, but I don't know. If I'll do it, September is a low buy month, if anything. So, um, a couple of Brooklyn Gators will add some more. I won't get those today. I'm going to do these here Saturday morning. Try to get out here just after 10 a.m. Uh, my son created here. It's 9.47 a.m. I do have a little one in my arms right now. But um, what I do is I just turn this. I click on the index uh, button to go to the last one he did. And it should be the top one, which it is. So I just work my way backward through what he did. So that bottom one should be the first one. Did. And then I just rearrange it. So you can't have this. It's not a ball. So anyway, let's get this done. It says 174 minifigs, 57 lots. So how long it takes. It's 10 after 10 right now, but I did have to go change a diaper. Um, so about half the time I was watching. and So this took me 15 minutes. If I was not undistracted for 57 lots, I could do that in 11 minutes, I'll put away. So, what's the bottom line here? I paid $35 for someone to do this for me, and it's worth, I uh, make a guess, uh, actually, oops, I forgot, he, there's one that didn't make it in the file, this, this one wasn't in there, so let's add it real quick. Add, you can see me on the camera in my, uh, Saturday outfit. I can't get the space bar though. Did it work? Oh, oh I didn't have it have any fake. So we try it again. Um, hit the camera, minifigure, and boom. And which one is it? Um, it's not here. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of go to this one and break it down, I guess. 
we'll add it and then we'll part it out and go to this and be like which one does it come on do we can find it from here oh, he's got a white helmet with a smirk I don't see it okay forget that one helmet off so I could see what face it was and I found it so um, here we go 179 total 58 uh, 260 is my best guess just out of the blue for 179 items um, what did I say 260 something wow 257 did I say 260 I can't believe I was that close wow I was gonna I was gonna put a random different number but like not an even number but I just didn't do it so that's pretty good for $35 and 15 minutes of my time now to get that for sale until I'll put away. So that's my Saturday. I'm just going to organize some stuff here. I got a play mobile set. I got a photograph for eBay next week. Um, let's organize this, get this ready for hopefully lots of orders on Monday. I will work Labor Day, most likely most of it, unless it's a nice day we want to do something. Maybe I'll just cut out early. Holidays don't come when you have your own business. There's no shipping, but I'll get everything shipped at least in the morning because I'm up early anyway. So yeah. I take other vacations. There's full shipping day of the new store open. Um, actually, this is two full days. So, so I open it Saturday or Friday at like 3 p.m. Shipped out Saturday morning, and now it's Monday morning. It is a Labor Day holiday. What am I doing working in the United States? I don't know. It's just my nature at this point. But we are going to the beach later. It's just I'm mean, gonna do the shipping here. Um, I mean, I get up at 5 just automatically before my alarm most days, so. Uh, 18 on BrickLink, 9 on BrickHall, 27 orders, 2,000 items, 360 lots, 608, so 300 bucks a day. Which with the new store, I expect more, but it's just, it's a holiday weekend here, so. It's not, not unreasonable that not many people are buying. <laughs> I mean, 27 and 48 hours is pretty good. Can't complain. So we will, uh, pull these orders. Somebody bought 150, and then finding these in there. I don't know if there's any more, but I started counting, and two, two are in my original pull of parts that I counted. Another one. So I don't know if these just got placed in here incorrectly, which probably happened because they're the same color. Um, during transport, you know, parts would fall through different drawers in the cabinets if they got moved around too crazy. Um, so I don't see that part here in this cabinet, so, yeah. I don't know if they should be for sale somewhere else in the store or not, but there they are. Came for this, and I noticed in this, there's this taped up box in there. So, I, I'm just curious on why there's a taped up box in this. I guess I didn't notice it when we were uh, putting all this stuff away. And it shakes, it sounds like Lego. But don't really know. It's really like padded and packaged in there. <laughs> so apparently, there must have been an order here. Um, there's the store. That's the store I bought. That's gone now at Comporium. So, there must have been an order for these parts and then never paid or something. Probably write that down to audit this drawer though, just in case those weren't for sale. So B48, I will put a note. It's a different type of message. I've not really got one like this. Leave in mailbox. That should be directed at your mail person that delivers your mail. No. No. Yeah. I'm not sure why I'm being left that note, but okay. I'll do my best. Done at 9.34 a.m. I only had one issue. Uh, there's like one 6x10 light bluish gray plate that was missing. It said there was 12 in the shoe box, but there were... The, was it, yeah, it was a shoe box, yeah. But there was actually only... Um, 
there's only eight of them, and they, there's only seven of them. They ordered eight of the twelve, so I had to order refund one, which was no big deal. So that's, that's good. That's pretty good. Had breakfast at 10 a.m., and I'm going through a Bricklink order. Um, completed one. And I got this stuff I got the other day. I'm going to eBay it. Ask, and then that play mobile slot. A couple more Bricklink orders I'm going to do first. I'm going to go through all the Bricklink, then I'm going to head to that and see what time I have until 1 p.m. We're going to the beach. Enjoy the, enjoy the big lake, Michigan. Out of this order, get the stuff put away. Ooh, this is a really good torso I needed. I think this guy will be complete now. It's a really good, a really good figure there. Things are a little uh, do what they want pretty easily. Pay for photographs. That just uh, just made it from those Bricklink orders. And here's the rest that should all be able to relist immediately, or maybe a few, maybe not. But it's uh, a good batch. Really good batch of stuff. It's uh, Tuesday morning after Labor Day. Had some good times at the beach. Went out for dinner, ice cream, good stuff. So eBay, I don't really show it too much because I'm always either too tired or just already have it. It's at night. I kind of do some stuff before I go to bed. Um, but we have eight items here. We sold one of these Bachelor Batman's already. It's a thirty-dollar sale just for that one. There's some good ones here, so that and then somebody, the next person bought like seven, eight items, like seven, it's eight, eight just pieces. And I got this one, there's someone that I think will be at Grand Rapids, the brick world there. And I'll have to ask them why you're buying a Wisconsin bag and you're from Michigan or you're in Michigan. I, this is one of the items I listed yesterday, Wisconsin Public Radio, it's a tote bag, it's like a fundraiser bag you get when you donate to them, that I put all the stuff in I got last week. I didn't even think I was going to sell it, I thought I might use it, but I'm like, ah, it looks pretty nice. I'll just put it up. Sell it for seven bucks. So, awesome. Thank you. We'll see what the story is behind that. Maybe. Um, but yeah, we'll get this all done, and then there is a lot of, uh, a lot of lots I have to pull on Brick Link and Brick All, so we're going to be busy. Builds never got relisted yesterday, so I'll have to do that. Uh, that one needs a helmet. I'll have to do that when I'm done with these orders, so September 5th, not as much as I thought it would be. To be honest, when I went to bed, it was probably just almost this amount, so 15 on Bricklink, 6 on Brickoff. 21 orders the last 24 hours, that's really good. 2,779 items, 437 lots, so that's over 5 items per lot. It's actually over 7 items per lot, so there's some good quantity items in this batch of orders, 475, which is good. Which, you know, adding, what is it, uh, I added, how many parts did I add, 40, not 47, 397,000 pieces or something, some 390 some thousand pieces it was to that new store. Um, I can see the quantity definitely is going up more than it has been recently, but the dollar amount is, is decent. Uh, I'm definitely going to take it, I know a lot of these parts are coming from that new store, so... Otherwise, I probably would not have had this many sales. It's still, as it was Labor Day Monday, so that's pretty good for some holidays. You get good sales. Others, it's kind of sporadic. You can have good sales or not. So, um, what's the big one in here? 49 lots there. 46 lots. 59 lots. 62 lots. 51. So there's a couple 50s and a 60 and a 40 couple 40 so uh, that's that really it adds up when you get those many that many lots so but other than that a lot of small ones some 20s and 30s but mostly after that there's just small 3 13 10 5 21 5 8 so just got work to do it's 5:46. i'm gonna take my morning break get my coffee here and get to work the message thanks so much and have a great labor day i plan to purchase more going forward you're welcome, thank you. And uh, I've been really thinking hard because this, this one order just made it over the $25 free shipping, that is at, moving it up to $40. It's not a popular move, but 
with all these. I was really trying to move my store in a direction of less, you know, building pieces like this and more minifig stuff. Uh, but I couldn't pass up this opportunity to buy this store, which completely flip flopped that on me. And um, but that's really the choice behind it. I paid a ton of money for the store and. I feel like I'm not getting the value I should sometimes when I'm having a $25 order having to spend like seven eight bucks shipping on my own money which that's not that's not how I designed this for shipping I designed it behind small pieces where you could you could get you know 10 20 pieces of minifig stuff and it's only gonna cost me like four bucks to ship it or 25 bucks originally that 20 bucks for shipping so I have to upped it to 25, but I think 40 is a good, it's a good number. 8, 10, 12, 14. So, I'm going to think about it over this next week, potentially. Um, sometime in September, I definitely may change it. It's been in my mind, so we got a part over there. Um, probably have a couple parts over there, but we'll just go get this. AD 47. What I want to do is put because there's three of each, A, 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 B. I forgot what number I was at now. There it is. Um, where I just kind of have letters. So here's A row and B row and C where all that starts so that I can uh, easily find it until I know where it is. It takes me a bit over there. All right, awesome. Thanks for the order. We'll get this all counted and packed up. So this is my third order from you and you had everything that I was looking for. Thank you. And uh, so this number five through eight was from the new store. So half the parts came from that new store. They got a big, bigger quantity from a lot of them. 15, this is the first order that was like over five lots. It was not, it did not, did not have any new parts in the store or the, from that new store I just bought. So um, like I don't believe that one did if I recall right. And then there's that 18 did not and that one did not but the rest have all had them so 12 out of the 15 orders so far they all had parts from the store bar and uh, the final order brick owl closed out the day with two orders boom what time is it 9.03 a.m. morning light get up now so it was a lot um, I got these parts of this bag before I forget. But, um, yeah, I did change my free shipping. I just thought about it during this whole thing and, like, I'm offering a lot. There's a lot that you can buy to up, to up charge your order to get to free shipping at $40. Uh, it's just time. It was just time to do it. I mean, I might drop it back lower once I sell off tons of these parts and I don't have many parts anymore. I might lower it back. Um, Maybe the 25 or 30. I'm not sure yet. It depends on what the. the I was definitely going to raise it the first of January this year because of the new USPS first class rates are going to go up again, like they do every January. So uh, I just did a little earlier because of all these those bulk parts. Had it's taking me a lot longer to pull orders because they're like my my store is spread apart. It's over there. It's way back there. Uh, it's not how I wanted it, but the offer to buy the service just too great to pass up. And we'll figure it out. We'll continue to consolidate and make things easier, move stuff. I'm going to move a lot of those shoe boxes. Uh, I'm just going to fill up these drawers with them because I don't want that those shoe boxes over there at all in the storage area. But start, start with the BA, the bulk m amounts that are not really in bags. Um, this will be quick and easy to fill up a bunch of these drawers. Don't really want to do that and use up my space, but got to do something. Uh, anyway. Off to breakfast now. Yeah. Uh, my shipping, this is what I paid out in shipping, 36.51 uh, that I had to pay for all these 21 orders, which isn't bad on average. It's just over a dollar for order, a dollar 50 maybe. But um, I also have to pay for all the bubble wrap, all the ink, all the labels, all the envelopes. So I don't like charging fees. You gotta put something in your shipping sometimes, but so I think that's, I think we're in a good spot, $40. We'll see how that, I'm gonna calculate that a few times as it happens uh, and see what the difference is. But I don't, you know, 
if I can pay like a dollar per order maybe in the end. A dollar fifty seems like a lot plus all the fees or plus all the expenses of everything. But uh, I only had one order today that was I had a refund for. These uh, it was in this drawer. I pulled seven of these out. It's supposed to be the longer arches that connect with the reinforcements. They don't look like that so much, but they were dark red. I came in here and pulled them. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is what I just found them. Oh. <laughs> uh. I already refunded. I'm, I'm gonna open that package up and put them in there and tell them I found them. So, um, yeah, I'll let them keep the three dollar refund. <laughs> That's what happens when you overfill doors. I should have, I should have known to look, but I, I'm like, why is there dark red and dark red? So there's seven of these I bought. Because well, my, my point of this clip was the new store did not have any errors today, which is nice. I did find a bunch of random parts. Not these aren't all from that store, but in other drawers that. They, they shouldn't have been there, I guess. I don't know. Four. Okay, so let me quickly send them a message saying, No, I got them. They're coming in your order.